Today we're going to make a concrete table. Stay tuned to the end of this video for a special offer from Sashco. I'm going to use one and a half inch wide flexible vinyl trim to make the perimeter of the mold. I'm going to hot glue some scrap pieces of 2x4 to a piece of melamine so that they'll help hold the flexible trim in place. I use hot glue around the outside of the mold. To seal the inside of the mold, I'm going to use a product called Big Stretch by Sashco. Big Stretch is a water-based product that can span gaps of up to 2 inches. I've used it in the past to cover up gaps in crown molding and it is available from Amazon.com. I used my finger to smooth out the Big Stretch so that I had a nice rounded edge. I recommend letting the Big Stretch cure for at least 3 days before pouring concrete into it. I'm going to use a jigsaw to cut a piece of plywood that fits inside the mold with about 2 inches between the edge of the plywood and the edge of the mold. I don't want the plywood to soak up all the water from the wet concrete, so I'm going to coat it with a high gloss paint to make it a little bit more water resistant. I'm going to cut some wire mesh to reinforce the table. I use some scrap to make a bridge that will hold the painted plywood and mesh in place. For thin tables like this, I like to use Quickrete countertop mix, and this time I used it in white. I use my gloved hands to push the concrete into all the corners and edges of the mold. I screwed the plywood and mesh into place and shook and vibrated the mold to try to get out as many of the air bubbles as possible. I used a putty knife to scrape away the extra concrete and smooth out the bottom of the table. After letting the concrete cure for 48 hours, I removed the mold. The tabletop is fine as it is, but if you want to round over the edges a little bit, you can do this really easily with an angle grinder and a flap disc. I finished off the table by screwing on three hairpin legs. For more detailed instructions, go to my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, follow me on Instagram. This project was sponsored by Sashco. Click on the link in the description to learn more about Sashco's Go Big or Go Back Challenge, where you can win free caulking and coupons from Sashco. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.